Let's make the ultimate cleaning solution. Oh, hi there. Sorry for that. My name is Matiz and I was just cleaning one of my water blocks. This is what you'll want to do from time to time to keep your loop running perfectly. So let's learn a thing or two about cleaning and maintenance of liquid cooling loops. Water blocks may be disassembled for cleaning purposes on an occasional basis. The warranty is not rendered void on this assembly, but the customer loses the EK leak free guarantee which comes with our factory tested water blocks. Usually the water block has a small orange and black sticker where the copper cold plate meets the water block top. Once this sticker is torn, EK cannot guarantee anymore that it will be a leak free product. With that covered, let's see how to clean your blocks efficiently. You don't need any special cleaning tools, an old soft toothbrush is perfect. Of course, you will need tools to disassemble the water blocks like the EK screwdriver set and the EK Torque screwdriver will come in real handy when you reassemble them. The Torque screwdriver is especially important since it prevents you from over tightening screws and damaging your water blocks. For the cleaning agent, it's safe to say that the standard dishwasher detergents, not machine washing ones, are an ideal choice. You don't need anything more aggressive than that. When cleaning bare copper, it is recommended to use slightly acidic cleaning agents, which include the following organic options. White vinegar and lemon juice. If you don't have any of these on hand, these are also great cleaners. Mustard, tomato extract, ketchup and of course, cola as they all contain phosphorus acidic acid or citric acid. If you are tempted to add more acidic power to your cleaning, know that the 5% is enough to kill 99.9% .9 of algae and bacteria that could be present on copper. After a nice scrubbing with your toothbrush, flush the block with water and then rinse it with distilled water. I would recommend wrapping it in paper towels to dry it completely. If you perhaps have an air compressor at home, like the one we've got here, you've definitely hit the liquid cooling cleaning jackpot. It's highly recommended to make sure that the water block parts are completely dry, since water can remain in threaded holes that can cause the steel screws to rust. However, it is nearly impossible to avoid naturally occurring copper tarnishing, as the oxidation will reoccur the very moment the copper is cleaned of all oxides. Is cleaning nickel-plated copper much different than the bare copper? In short, yes. when cleaning nickel-plated copper, you should never use any aggressive chemicals, vinegar or rough materials, as you may damage the plating and thus void the warranty. In addition, you'll end up with a bad-looking product. Please note that due to the presence of dye additives and other chemicals, the nickel layer may become discolored or stained after a while. However, the staining is reversible by simply flushing and rinsing. Flush with warm water. Clean the surface with a damp, non-abrasive cloth. Rinse with clean water. Polish the hardened deposits, like algae or dirt, if necessary. And just a friendly tip, you should also clean underneath the o-rings, just to remove any algae growth. For polishing, use only non-abrasive metal or chrome polish compounds. Toothpaste can also come in handy if you have nothing else on hand. Always rinse and wash with soapy water after you are done polishing to remove the residues. You can rinse with regular tap water, but you can always do the final rinse with distilled water to get rid of any possible water scale residue. Now let's talk about cleaning the plexi and acetal tops of the water blocks. Acrylic will fail prematurely if subjected to even small amounts of alcohol, acetone or any other aggressive chemicals. Do not use anything but warm soapy water and a toothbrush. Algae or dirt deposits may be rubbed out with a soft cloth in combination with warm soapy water. Just simply rinse with water after cleaning. Acetal, on the other hand, can withstand chemicals such as alcohol or acetone. But we recommend using this very sparingly, as drying chemicals will certainly leave some residue. Usually acetal can be cleaned easily with just a soft cloth and a warm soapy water. Don't forget to rinse with water after cleaning here as well. Now let's finish this video off with a few additional tips on how to maintain your liquid cooling properly. After all, proper maintenance will help you keep your loop in top shape 
and prevent any unnecessary costs. It is highly recommended to use purpose-made coolants, which contain corrosion inhibitors and act as surfactants. Now that's a fancy term, which means that they also prevent algae growth and dirt deposition on wet surfaces. In addition, refrain from using copper sulfate-based additives in your loop, to prevent tarnishing of your water cooling gear's internals. Do you know what's also a good idea? To clean your radiators before use. Due to the nature of manufacturing process, the radiators are usually the source of all dirt particles found in the loop. Clean them with warm water or a water vinegar solution and rinse them with distilled water before use. And remember, use water or soapy water without any aggressive chemicals for any sensitive surfaces, such as those found on distribution plates and reservoirs. Now enough cleaning. Join us next time as we continue our exploration of the liquid cooling world. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay clean.